This video tutorial covers the Cyber Training for Health Spatial Lab, which focuses on retail site selection in the Indianapolis, Indiana area. This video tutorial will cover the process of retail site selection and its importance in retail management, provide a summary of the Cyber Training for Health scenario, tell you how to access and open the Spatial Lab and follow the steps in it, uh, as well as describe the written answers that you will submit as part of the exercise. Retail site selection is one of the most, perhaps the most important decision processes in retail management. It identifies the particular locations where retail stores will be located, and in doing so, seeks to match retail strategies with target customers. It also seeks to identify attractive competitive locations based on retail attractors and the location of competing stores, and to minimize the cannibalization of existing stores when that's a factor. Business GIS tools can contribute to this process by displaying dis distributions of attractive customer characteristics in the market area, analyzing the specific market areas of those retail locations that are available to the firm, integrating information on available alternative sites from a number of different sources to provide com comprehensive profiles of those, and to help researchers identify competitive threats and opportunities. In this particular situation, the tra Cyber Training for Health scenario Cyber Training for Health is a retail concept of Greg Murphy, who is an ardent runner and an entrepreneur. And his vision is for stores which offer customers high-tech personal training equipment that is supplemented with online monitoring services to track their personal training programs. So the customers buy equipment from the store, but also use the tracking services supplied by the store to keep track of their personal training regime. And he wants to locate his initial store in the Indianapolis area in an existing shopping center and to do so, he wishes to map the distribution of income and sports equipment purchases in the area to see how they are distributed across the, the market he's interested in. He wants to identify available locations in area shopping centers where the store might be located to create both simple ring and drive time trade areas around those stores, uh, and then compare the market area characteristics of the sites that are available to the firm, and then recommending the site which best matches his target customers as the best location for his first store. He has retained you as the business GIS consultant to perform these tasks. To do so, you will follow the steps in the spatial lab. Specifically, you will open the map that accompanies the lab uh, and click on and open the click on map to open instructions box layer and make sure that it's active. You will then click inside the map to open a pop-up window with instructions on how to proceed. You'll have the opportunity to use a double-click or right-click save procedure to download the spatial lab file to your system then you will open that file in Microsoft Word. Here's what your screen will look like as you complete that process. Notice the click on map to open instructions box is layer is selected, the only one visible, and this is the instructions that you'll see to load the map and actually uh, run this tutorial that you're watching now. And then once you've done that, you will follow the steps in the lab to explore the distribution of income and sports equipment purchases in the Indianapolis area, to map the available locations, uh, to construct trade areas around them to see how extensive they are, compare the trade area characteristics of those various sites, and recommend the most favorable site for Greg's first store. Let's move to the spatial lab itself uh, and walk through the steps that you perform there uh, to use these tools. We begin with a more extensive summary of Greg's situation in the Cyber Training for Health scenario. Uh, which describes the concept that he is wanting to implement. Uh, it tells you the Indianapolis area is the market he's going to use, uh, and then describes the steps that you're going to take to perform these functions. Notice this definition of his, of his target market, 35 to 50 year old with some college education and high incomes, who spend more than average amounts on sports equipment. Once you load the map, you will be able to see distributions of median household income and sports equipment purchases by manipulating the layers that are visible. You will also note where existing shopping centers are and identify six shopping centers that have retail space available for lease that are suitable for Greg's purposes. Uh, you will then create two types of trade areas around those, one simple rings and the second drive times, and you can see both of those here. And once those drive time rings are created, uh, you will use the dashboard and pop-up functions uh, to collect and uh, summarize the characteristics of each of those 
trade areas uh, in this table where you will supply the median income, households with college degree and in the target market, and sports equipment purchases uh, per household for each of the six shopping centers that have available space. You will then use this information uh, to answer two questions about which of those shopping centers you recommend to grade. So this will be the process through which you perform the tasks that are identified here. When you complete that process, uh, you will supply these answers as part of your written report. You'll recommend a shopping center site in question one, uh, and you will justify that selection relative to another potential site in question two, uh, so that you get an act, a chance to see how some of the, the, the data, uh, uh, the trade-offs in the data uh, for the various sites that you have to evaluate. And you'll submit that report uh, to your instructor uh, as you have been directed to do. And that completes this video tutorial on the Cyber Training for Health Spatial Lab. Good luck as you complete this project.